Kaya is a hottie. What can I say? He's a good looking dude. I wish I looked like that. Genshin Impact Chapter 2 Flameborn. Kaya on the cover. Such a stud muffin. All right, what is going on? D Luke and I are like brothers. I've always wondered if these two were brothers because there was some stuff that they have said. He's also the richest bachelor of Mondstadt, but that's a mere facade he puts on for show. Why is his eyes all bugging out of his head? In truth, D Luke and I are the same type of people. To put it in simple terms, we are anti heroes with attitude problems. I don't mind that at all. The art style of this manga is fantastic. And that's because I find those exemplars of justice funny at times. Amber, look at Amber. She's so cute, she's so cute. And the art styles, they just do such a great job on the details and every little thing in this manga, it's crazy. Even the captain is here. Are we escorting some super rich people again? Hey, you, yes, you, girl, when are we leaving this place? Sorry, I'm not on this mission. I guess a real knight may have more answers than this lowly guard. Don't you talk to Amber that way, you grumpy old man. What's wrong with you? Look at her, look at her. She's being all like, she's, you, you scared her. That man was so rude. Ignore him, Amber. Focus on your duties as a knight of Ordo Favonius. All right, Captain. So they ordered Mr. Krupp and his lot to withdraw. It is the Tatori. The Tori's here. The Tori's here. No. I can't believe our entire team had to be withdrawn. Who's going to take care of those instruments? I need to have a good reason for this. What are they talking about? You better not ask. The Tori must have planned it out and he prefers it when people do as they're told. Just last night. Yeah, this is, yeah, Dottori killed killed his guy to keep, to silence him. Kaya, can you believe it? The Fatui just agreed to back down. Somebody's drunk. Somebody, somebody is drunk. Is he drunk? I think he's drunk. I think he's a little, I think he's had a little bit too much to drink. I'll need you to escort their people out of town. Um, well, I really don't want to deal with this Dottori anymore. I don't think anybody does. Ha, don't worry, Kaya. And then there's the Tori back there. This bores me. The Tori already left town. He probably felt that the party was too boring. You'll just have to escort the common delegates. Left town already? That does sound like what Tori might do. And Tori is one of the harbingers, right? Prepare to move out. I don't know what's going on. They keep flipping back and forth between the two scenes. I'll leave the city to your care. Yes, ma'am. Ordo Favonius escort carriages will be right behind us. Clop, clop, clop. Horses are leaving. Person looking out the window. Another person looking out the window. Half of my beautiful day is gone. I really hate this job. They just, do they just not enjoy being Knights of Favonius? Jean is complaining about half of her day being gone and kaya is just always like i just hate doing this i just hate anything to do with this what is happening okay who is this ah who is this oh wait who is this who is this whoa kid the city gate is under curfew you'll need to wait to enter mond who is this who is this they collapsed in front of you are you not gonna help them Wow, she looks really sick. So it's a it's a girl, but that really looks like Colette. Who is this? Psst. So I guess, dude, this girl looks as though she has the plague. I'll, I know you're a nice guy, but we can't risk having the disease spread across the city. What disease are we talking about? Sorry, kid, we can't let you through this place. Try your luck somewhere else. What is happening? I am so confused about what is going on right now. Clop, 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 clop. Yeah, here comes Kaya. Whoa! Whoa! Who are you? What are you doing? What is going on? Who is that? Why are you flopping and hissing and, 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 and putting cracks on the ground? I don't like the look in your eyes. Can you, they're going, they're going across into hissing, hissing, sizzle, sizzle, whoosh, more whooshing happening, more whooshing. What is happening? 
crackle? A fire! What? What? There's a fire in the carriage? Where are those damned escorts? The door! God, it's too hot. I can't get it to open. Try your side. Are they going to burn alive? That is a big, giant purple snake! God, who is this person that sent a big, giant snake after them? What is happening? Who are you? Oh my God, there's so much happening. What is that? Gene, I'm asking the same question as you. Kai looks shocked. It's not vision power. This must be the carriage, a serpent of fire. People are freaking out. People are freaking out. More swooshing, swoosh. Snake, person, bandaged, green hair. Purple eyes. Who is that? Kaya. Thwomp. More thwomping. Are you, are you, Kaya, are you going to do anything about this big giant snake? Okay, that's part one. I have so many questions right now. I have so many questions about what is going on. Okay, here's Kaya. There's nothing there anymore. What was that? Two dead envoys and 15 wounded, despite being escorted by the Ordo Favonius. Who did this? Where are they? I need answers. I need them fast. I do too. I do too. Who is the person with the green hair with the purple eyes that sent a snake to attack everybody and like basically set the carriage on fire and they had to burn a light? Who is that? Tell me everything. Outrider Amber will be helping you in this investigation, Sir Kaya. Get to the bottom of this. She does not look happy. <laughs> she looks terrified. We must provide the Fatui with a decent explanation of what happened. Kaya! Sir Kaya! What? What? Give me an order, Sir Kaya. Say the word and I'll help you out with the investigations. I'll get it done, I promise. Uh, Amber's upset. Sir Kaya! She just keeps yelling at him. She's just going to continue to yell at him. Sorry, Sir Kaya, but there must be something this outrider can help you with. You're talking to me? Didn't you hear at all? I was thinking about other things. I have a pretty good idea on where to start, but I can handle this on my own. Just treat this as free time. Wait for my return. Take care. Have fun. See ya. Hey, wait! Kaya's just like, I got this. Kaya's just like, I think I have an idea, but you're just going to have to chill. Don't even worry about it. Whatever. I'm telling you right now, Amber, this is crazy. This, I just love how this looks. It just looks so pretty. It's so pretty. They get the character models like exactly right. It's so good. Ugh, Amber's upset. What the hell? He still treats me like a rookie. Amber's cussing? Oh, now we're back over here at D. Luke Manor. D. Luke and I are like brothers. I thought they were brothers there for a second. That's really pretty. His family had high hopes for him. He lived up to the high hopes, I must add. He was the best of us, got the vision at age 10, became an Ordo Favonius captain at age 14. 14? The youngest captain in our history. Then he turned 18, quit the Ordo, and killed his old man? Wait, what? No, I, I, is that like a figure of speech? He's, he, he's got to be being like sarcastic, right? That's got to be like a figure of speech, right? He's not being for real. d didn't, did d kill his dad? We don't know. What is, what is he talking about? And now he's a brooding guy with a penchant for black. You seem pretty cool despite all that crazy stuff happening out there, d -Luke. You know what I'm talking about? Your bro Kai is talking about the attack on the Fatui envoys. I have no clue what Kai is talking about. So Dealer doesn't know. Why did they attack? We don't know who, 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 what, what, who attacked the envoys. And Kai is like being all smug to Diluc. Really? I find that quite hard to believe. Thought you're the expert at knowing things. Pfft, I have nothing to do with whatever you've said. He's just throwing darts. But you are the mighty defender of Mond. Sorry, slip of the tongue. You were the defender of Mond. You already left Ordo Favonius. Your bro Kai is a little, a little curious about your methods of defending our lovely city. 
I can choose to remain silent on my own affairs. Sir Kaya of Ordo Favonius, and you're not my bro. Man, D looks tough. D looks kind of cold hearted a little bit. I want to learn more about him. Like, what's his deal? Why is he so, like, honorary? You know, honorary? Kaya singing a song. Are you humming? I was there. I saw a giant serpent of black flames. Yes. Who is that? Crack. Did he just throw the dart and break that face? Yeah, I thought it looked like one of your toys. What is going on? I don't have anything that looks like that. You think I'm behind this? Oh, no. I wouldn't dare to ask you to give me an alibi, though you probably already have one. Psst. We need help, I'll admit. Our dear Seneschal, Seamus, needs materials to come up with a story. Just in case you're wondering, the Fatui will be the ones listening to that story. So, I get it now. Kaya thinks because of what happened in the manor, D. Luke and Seamus are behind it to get rid of the Fatui envoy. Dottori! Dottori with a letter, he looks angry, what's going on? And Mon will be in serious trouble if the Fatui dislike the story. But, okay, so they're having to explain away what happened to the Fatui, but they're trying to come up with a story that makes them, make it seem like they're not the ones that did, did the things. I guess you don't want to have anything to do with the fate of Mond, right? Sir Kaya, saving Mond is your job. Try to do it properly next time. Ha! Your bro Kaya shall be back with a new vase. Aim straight next time. <laughs> you, go buy a vase right now. I do not trust the taste of Sir Kaya of Ordo Favonius. Man, they just have like a, like a really like aggressive nature between the two of them. Since Kaya's being so carefree about it, is Kaya, did Kaya set this all up? Did Kaya set this all up? To kill the, the people in the envoy? Guess I won't need to see you again then. May the wind be with you, Sir Kaya. <laughs> and by the way, you've busted the dark game, Master D. Luke. Can you count to 501? I actually like playing darts. Please come back, Master Kaya. Of course, I'll be back just to see you, sweetie. Oh, wow. Wow. He looks like, please come back. And Kaya's calling him sweetie. Everyone treats me like a rookie. Well, Amber, you you are Amber. Woo woo. Who's woo wooing? Somebody's woo wooing. We still don't know who this person is. Who is this? Don't know who that is. Still don't know who this is. Okay, you're looking up, you're looking up. Now, what are you doing to it now? Are you destroying the statue? Are you destroying the statue? Who is this person? What are you doing? Why are you trying to destroy the whole damn town? Hey, are you all right? Amber, look out. They're gonna sick their flaming purple snake on you. <gasps> Did Amber get shot? I think Amber got shot. Did she get shot? She got shot. Somebody shot her. Who shot Amber? What is going on? Why does she have that look on her face? Oh boy. All right, that's the end of chapter two. Now let's get into chapter three. Chapter three, lost and found. All right, Amber, what's going on? I will never ask for help. Oh, are we gonna get to find out who this is? Why are they in the water? Why are they drowning? Still drowning. Hey, wake up. Hey, grab. Somebody grabbed him. Wake up. Who's that? Looks like Amber's kind of looks like Amber's glove. Are you all right? Swoosh. More swooshing. Kya. The vision. Oh, you're trying to steal her vision. No wonder they're so restless. Wait, are you trying to steal her vision? Anyway, why are you out so late? Why are you being so nice? What is going on? What is your name? Are you from Mond? I get it. I'll leave your city. Wait, what? So confused right now. Ho, 
called it. You act really weird. Decent folk don't hang out in late hours like this. Are you going to grab somebody you don't know, Amber? That's probably not a good idea. Yeah, see? Don't touch me. They're not happy. They smacked you. Whoa, well, don't touch them. Can't you see? I'm one of the unclean. Unclean? You'd be wise to stay away from me. Unlike you, I'm not one of those chosen by the vision. I'm the eternal outcast, and no city will open its gates for me. I came here looking for something, but I don't think I'll ever find it. Ooh, what, is, what are they looking for? Farewell. Excuse me, sorry for disturbing your sad little story, but since when did Mond ever try to kick you out? Was I trying to kick you out? Amber's yelling at this person. That is very terrifying. And they're giving her the look. Ahem. Are you going to shake their hand? I'm Amber, the best outrider and scout there is. I'm also a real expert in finding stuff. Join me and we'll find what it is you're looking for. Oh, my Lord, Amber. She's a hot mess. What a weirdo. <laughs> this person... This person thinks that they're an outcast and they're calling Amber a weirdo. And I agree. She is kind of weird. She's always peppy and like rip born ready to go. To ensure success, we'll need to come up with a search plan. Okay. Field of vision will be key. Scouts must position themselves in, at elevated positions to maximize visual range. To get to that elevated position, just leave me alone. Yeah, she, yeah, she blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she probably rambled on trying to tell you a plan where she needed like 100 people to join in on this search for whatever it is you're looking for. I know her. Mm-hmm. Mondstadt Cathedral Spires. We're in luck. They didn't lock the Campanile. Getting up here isn't as hard as it looks. Why did I let her do this? She just dragged, she just dragged them up to the top of the cathedral. Like it's nothing. She's just completely ignoring this person. It's like, oh, you need help? Let me help you. Let's go. Oh, she's hilarious. So what are you looking for? Oh my, I guess you're afraid of heights. You're afraid of heights? A view of serene beauty freed from the ugly and pathetic struggles of worms like me. This must be how the guides, gods of Celestia view their garden from up high. You won't find a thing here. Ooh. Ooh. Really? But this great view makes my pains and troubles seem so much smaller. Look at Amber, just having the time of her life. She's just living her best life. Think of it that way to lighten the burdens of your mind. Once my mind settles down, I know I can take another step forward. So Amber's not scared at all, but she can glide. So... Doesn't this feel great? Oh, they look shocked. You and I are very different. Yeah, what are, what are you trying to find anyway? What are you trying to find? Amber's gonna bug you until you tell her. You should know this by now. She's already dragged you up here. She's not gonna let it go until you tell her. What am I trying to find? Find a chance for vengeance. Ooh, who are you trying to get vengeance on? Oh, that's a good one. Part two of chapter three. Please save her seer. This child has been touched by the Deev. There's only one way. Give her to me. What? No, don't leave me here. Papa, mama, save me. What? Save me? What? They left their kid behind? Regent injected. Subject survival confirmed. What? What? Wait, what? Regent injected. Subject survival confirmed. Save me. Save me, I said. You are about to burn alive. Oh, this is bad and sad. I destroyed everything I touched. I left memories of my family behind. What? Is that, did, did you set this on fire? Did you set the town on fire? Where are they from? The gods painted a beautiful dream for the human race. They govern a beautiful world for the humans to live in. We exiles have done nothing wrong, yet we're denied the gods love. 
Oh, but there are those blessed and loved by the gods. The gods watch over them and the world answers their desires. They are given a seat in Holy Celestia. Their wishes will be fulfilled. They will become like the gods. So these people are mad at the gods, it sounds like, because they're not getting treated fairly. We exiles must fight for every scrap. We're meant to die and rot like worms. I will never ask for help. Ooh, you made a good point. I guess we'll have to go look for it down there. Down there? How do we get down there? Amber's gonna fly you down there. Hold on tight. How? We can simply fly down there. Are you joking with me? She's not joking. She's 100% not joking. Grabs him, jumps off the top of the cathedral. Hey, hey, wait up. This fall is going to kill us. Just let me go. You worry too much. Amber, oh my God. The art style of this is so good. It looks so pretty. That's it. I'm dead. Swoosh, more swooshing. More swooshing. Amber sticking her wings out. Now we're gonna fly. It's time to fly. Are you ready? Whee! Amber and her goggles. <laughs> Amber and her goggles cracking me up. But who is this though? We never got a name. It really looks like Cole. You're in safe hands. Foosh. Know that I'm the flying champ of Mond. Shocked. They're shocked. A worm like me never dreamed of flying. This view is better than I thought. <gasps> oh, is Amber changing your mind? Burn them. Burn the clothes I've touched. You might be infected if you keep wearing them. It's not as bad as you make it out to be. Lisa said hot water, potions, and being smart will keep the doctors away. Hot water, potions, and being smart will keep the doctors away. Okay. Amber and her goggles are cracking me up. Uh-oh, what? You got caught. Jean and Lisa caught you. My dear outrider, Amber. Oh, no. Oh, no. Amber's in trouble. I thought I told you to team up with Sir Kaya and find out more about that Black Fire affair. What is foo-foo-foo, foo-foo-foo? Are you laughing, Lisa? Lisa's a hottie. Wow. Lisa is smoking. I, well, that black fire thing. I um haven't had the time to look into it. Amber, you've been fooling around with this kid. That is the end of chapter three. So we're going to do two at a time.